In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the best runs in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you take your game to the next level through tips and strategies and tactics and mini schemes. And if that's something that interests you, what I want to encourage you to do right now is to jump in my channel Discord. That is the best place to stay up to date with my community, best place to meet new people, best place to chat Madden, find my app games. All of that fun stuff. So if you really want to get your game to the next level, there's a saying that says that you are the average of the five people you associate with most. And in my opinion, that is very true in Madden. So make sure to join the Discord. A link is in the description of this video. Now let's jump into this tip here. So we all know that running the ball is not as good as it used to be. Passing the ball is really the way to go this year. But even with man coverage, passing has been a little bit challenging. And running out of the pistol has really been kind of obsolete in the past. But this year they bring it back with uh, some really, really good running plays. And there's two specific plays that I want to talk about uh, with this. Uh, I'm in the Saints playbook, and today we're going to talk about the halfback zone, and we're going to talk about the strong power. And the strong power is the run that I believe to be one of the best runs of the game. And then we'll get our play action audible here from the pistol bunch tight end is curls, which is one of the best passes in the game. As you can see, these curl routes are so, so good against zone. The spacing concept in general is such a good concept this year. If you're not running curls, what do you do? And I have a whole video on that that you can check out uh, in the description of this video. All right, so strong power. Now you can run this to the right or the left. Let me show you the run to the right. To the right side, it's going to be ran more like a more like an inside uh, or more like a dive. Now you're not necessarily wanting to jet to the outside every time uh, like you used to in Madden history, because you see that pulling guard doesn't always get out there. What you're really wanting to do is you're wanting to use those pulling guards as an opportunity to basically run wide zone from this. So you're going to take a look and can you cut it back is there a cutback lane there most of the time there's going to be most of the time you're literally going to see the uh, red sea part when you run this run to the right um you see here i can get out wide they're typically going to hold their blocks and i can easily get to the edge uh with the pistol bunch 10 inch strong power the double ju double juke move which i talked about being the best ball carry move in madden uh is such a good effective move for, for this run now this run is good to the right but it's even better to the left let me show you you got a bunch set right here you got two point guards that's what makes this run so good snap of the ball you're gonna get that nice crack back block and then you're gonna get to the edge with sony michelle now again running in madden 21 is a lot different than running in madden 20. you're not gonna hit the home run ball every time but you are gonna get consistent yards. That's what I'm looking for out of my running game is consistency. Can I get a consistent three to five yards? And I'm telling you right now, with this run you can. Now let me show you the halfback zone run. This is the zone run off of it. As you see, it's no slouch either. Um, it's more of an interior uh, run. You're definitely gonna run to be very, um, you're really not gonna wanna run this to the outside. It's basically wide zone from pistol. Uh, as you can see there, it does just fine. But really this, um, this pistol bunch tight end mini scheme here is pretty good. As you can see here, you get that, that pulling guard out and you are able to get a nice little alley to the left side. I think this run is best ran to the left side, but it can be ran to the right if they're really, really overplaying the left run. You see there, the Red Sea is literally just gonna part. You're just gonna follow your blocks. Do not, do not, do not hold turbo when you're on this run. You're literally just going to glide with the run, glide with the run. And then once you see the hole, you want to hit turbo right there. It was a bad cut by me. I ended up hitting turbo too early, and the, the guy block shed. When you hit turbo this year, they will block shed you. So really, really focus in on leveraging your right stick. Leveraging your right stick. Here you see if they're if they're clamping up. Uh, what I like about this run too is it's what I call a multi-window run, meaning you can cut it in the middle or you can also cut it to the outside depending on what the defense does. So like right here, the cutback lane is right up the middle. So I'm just going to cut it straight up and take three to four yards, three to four yards, three to four yards. You'll see here against this uh, little wide defense here, that double juke cut off of those pulling guards really works in conjunction with one another. We're able to get a nice little clip of five yards here. Here, nickel normal. And that time he shedded me, or I'm sorry, I came through the gap. But it, you're just gonna have to keep your eye on where the linebackers are coming. Um, but oftentimes what you're gonna see is this run does a really, really good job. Um, for you as a nice wide run. It's one of the better wide runs of the game. We don't have a lot of those this year. Um, the edge, the, uh, the perimeter edge defense is a lot better than it has been in years past. But what you'll see here with this run is you do get, when you run into the trip side, I just feel like when you run into the trip side, you get a lot better blocking. And you also get crackback blocks that are very, 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 very consistent and very, very effective. Um, and then you can cut it up as well. But strong power might be back. Let me know what you think in the video. Is strong power back? Um, that's the question I want to ask. Uh, as you can see here, I mean, gosh, can't get can't argue with that real big alley right there. If I make a little bit better of a cut, 
that's a wide open uh, run. Like I said, if you run it to the left, running it to the left is the best way to do it. Um, running it to the right is okay. Uh, running it to the right is really more of like if they're literally just shifting everything to the left, then you're going to run it to the right. But you see there that crackback block, and then you can literally get really sticky um, with that left stick and get up field. What I love about this play, though, off of that is off of everything that we're doing. Then we go to this little PA curls play, and this is one of the best plays of Mad right now. Um, you can hit either curl route. Uh, you can literally hit either curl route. And what I like to do with the kill Harry is you can take him and put him on a little zig. I love zigs. I love zigs as pull routes this year. Um, ah, end up bringing it right into me. But you'll see right here. Um, if I go PA curls, um, what you'll see is these little routes right here. Ah, dang it, I keep hitting the wrong button. I meant to throw to Julian Edelman. Um, these little curl routes do such a good job against man to man. And they do a good job against zone too. They just sit. They just sit, right? Um, air raid offense is all about uh, finding grass and taking grass, finding grass and taking grass. Here's the run to the right again. You see how those pulling guards really get up there? And again, with better stick, and you got to practice this run a little bit because it's a little bit different of a run than you've ran in the past because um, you want to really kind of set your blocks up. But if you get those blockers out there, maybe a little bit better of an offensive line, maybe you're running this with the Eagles, um, you're going to see a lot of success with this run. I promise you that. Um, sometimes you will get boxed, um, but it's it's less frequent than most of the other runs. You know, they can't just come out and shoot the gaps from Dollar. I just see right here, um, like just just you get such good edge blocking on this run, and that's to me what makes it so powerful. You get that crackback block, you get that kickout block, and then you're able to make a read. Now this this is literally designed to be a power sweep. That's literally what it's designed to do. So what you want to do is run flat wide. And there you see, there's the alley. And then now you're in the open field and you can make a double juke. Um, you can also jurdle. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys know how to do the jurdle. Let me see if I can do it really quick for you. But you see, run wide. Now, most of the time, those guards will make those blocks. Sometimes they miss. But like I said, most of the time, you're going to be doing good. Now, against it look like this, you're going to want to run to the right. Again, just get wide, wide, wide. That's the, that's the key is you want to glide with your blockers to set those blocks up so that that run can can be uh, effective for you. You see there, there's the power sweep. Now, again, and what I like about pistol this year, and this is just my personal opinion, I actually think pistol, you can see the field a little bit better when you're running, and it actually makes it a little bit more effective. Um, as long as the linemen block better, and they have fixed that a lot this year, um, you're seeing linemen are blocking more like they should, uh, more, more like they really should in general. But basically, literally, if I, if I wanna run inside, I'm gonna go to the HB zone play, and what you'll see is this inside run is really, really good. As you see right there, Pistol Bunch Tight End is one of the most underrated mini uh, sets in the Saints playbook. Um, so if you haven't already checked it out, be sure to check that out. Uh, a couple of tips coming from, from that playbook today. But I really, really like this run. Um, and, and one thing you can do is you can ID uh, the guys you want those pulling guards to block. And you'll see here, um, you'll get a little bit better of a block on them. Uh, but anyways, Pistol Bunch Tight End, strong power. The question is, is it back or not? Uh, I believe that this is one of the best runs in the game. Um, again, you know, people will disagree with me, but the consistency, it's the consistency factor. It's not necessarily, you know, can you break a long run, but Pistol Bunch Tight End in combination with the curls and with the HP zone play that we're able to run, there we miss a block, um, which is fine. But, um, but uh, you'll see, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, literally this run, you're going to get these wide blocks, sweeping guards, and then you're going to get in the open field, and you are going to be able to run a lot with this play right here. One thing you can do that I haven't talked about yet, um, if you motion, if you want to run to the right, you can motion snap Harry right there. And see, he's going to help cl clear out some lanes for you, and then you're just going to roll. So, Pistol Bunch tied in, strong power. I believe it's one of the best runs in the Madden 21. What do you guys think of this video? Let me know in the comments. Also, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to join my Discord. Remember, we are live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern. I've got some other tips for you coming up, so make sure you're subscribed. And also, check out these videos on the top here to see some of my other content.